Uh, we're going to find out why he's called the Galloping Gourmet. And uh, he's got some interesting celebrity stories, including a, an appearance on Johnny Carson that I'm sure many of our viewers remember. It's one of the things he's most well known for. He's got quite the following. He does, including me. My very first cookbook that my parents gave me when I moved out. I couldn't remember if I bought it, but it was, they gave it to me when I moved out, and yeah. it was his collection. So I'm going to share you, that. You've been cooking me. from that book and sharing those treats with Brad I don't actually even remember if I ever made anything with oh. it, but it was like this beautiful book, coffee table type book that you could look at the picture. And it was just always, it's just interesting. That, I probably made something out of that's it. That's what always happens I with know. cookbooks. I am guilty of this. Last year, I think I brought three, bought three or four books, and I thought, okay, I'm changing things, and then they're just sitting in the drawer right now. Well, it's all about calorie cutting for him now, so we're okay. going to share some cooking we'll, tips with him. We'll get to those tips, but a big contest coming up. Absolutely. Uh, Poker Lotto is an exciting new... This guy, for years, as a lot of people, has a... You're kind of... Yeah. For uh, I am. My very first cookbook that I ever bought, or actually that was given to me when I moved out of home, was Galloping Gourmet. It was the blue cover, the hard oh, cover. Oh, the Galloping Gourmet Graham Care, by the way. S seven pounds that book weighed. You know, we called it the doorstop. Yeah, well, you know, I'm Tell actually us. busy cutting an avocado. and Talk about pressure, right? <laughs> so I was just going to cut it how I do it at home. I'm which watching. Is, which oh, is kind of like this, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, first of all, you don't even want me to cut it this way. You want me to try it. A the really girth fine cut. way. The girth cut. Okay, so yeah. I'm just literally. That's right, and okay. roll it right round. Just like That's that? It. You know, That's they don't give us perfect. these kind of sharp now, knives here. All very right. sharp. Okay. Now, just twist and turn, twist and, and out turn. it comes. All wow. Right. Isn't that fun? That's beautiful. Uh, and then we'll just simply get rid of the nut. Do you grow them, by the way? I, I, I don't myself. Have you ever tried? No. <laughs> neither, no, do you? neither of us. Well, <laughs> see, now I don't feel as bad. You know, a lot of people obviously know you as the Galloping Gourmet. Sure. Uh, tell us a little bit about, for people who don't know, how you came to be Galloping. Um, Qantas Airlines, um, the Australian airline, decided to send my siphon, uh, myself and a wine writer, Len Evans, great wine writer, around the world, our wives agreed, for 34 days um, on their inaugural flight. And we had to, we could eat in as many restaurants as we liked. We ate in 117 restaurants. They poured us off the plane at the end. And uh, we wrote a book about it called The Galloping Gourmets. He wanted to call it The Galloping Gluttons, but it was The Gourmets. <laughs> and it was such a great idea. What an idea for a TV series. And you, you fly around the world and you eat. And, in 51 and years, you had been doing television. And, yes. you know, you've had some really memorable experiences. Tell us a little bit about uh, your that's time right. with Give Johnny me the Carson. other half of that. Yeah, you know, I, I right. failed in that. Tell that, us a little bit okay. about this right here. I mean, what was that like? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> First of all, what was that? Is that wine? Oh, yes, that was Uzo. Um, oh. And um, uh, so, flavored Uzo, <laughs> Johnny Carson. Oh. Is, is the most brilliant man in the world at actually doing what you call, it, what you call the double take. And he was amazing. I, I did several shows with Johnny, and they always put me on as first guest. And if you could go through two uh, commercial breaks, you were hot, you know, in those days. So I would work so hard at going through it. I didn't realize that the comedian at the end of the show was bumped. Every time I went two breaks, he lost his job. And it happened to me years later. I was on the Mike Douglas show, and I was on last, and I got bumped. Well, you know what? We're going to bring you at least through one more commercial <laughs> break. So tell okay. you what, we've got more with Graham Care, the Galloping Gourmet. I'm going to ask you if you still gallop, and we're going to talk about your new book and the fact that you're here at Eat Vancouver. Stay with us. Let's work on that avocado. we got to get that going, right? Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Turn it outside in. Mr. Graham Care, the Galloping Gourmet, and I think, did I, did I mash this okay? Did I handle the Yeah, the I think you've handled that pretty well. We want it fairly rough. We don't want it oh. totally smooth. So fairly rough is what you've done brilliantly. Now you tell me. You are the fairly rough commie chef. Man, yes. I tell you what. You know, we are going to be making a, a great avocado dip, and the cheese that we're using with it is actually in your new cookbook. The information, they're coming up on your screen, growing at the speed of life. So if you're looking for that recipe, it's in this book. Um, you've actually taken on a whole healthy new lifestyle. Sure. Yeah. Well, I want to delight and do less harm. That's the thing. Um, you know, the whole culinary world delights people. But en route to delighting people, we can over, go over the top well, and you do harm. All right? about the uh, clarified so, butter so before. So the big thing yeah. nowadays, and Vancouver's really cool in this way, because chefs are now beginning to go seasonal and regional, and that is delighting people and doing less harm. But it doesn't sound like it's health food. It sounds like it's the best thing you ever ate. So that's what this is about. If you take 
a yogurt, in, uh, 1% or non-fat yogurt, which has no filling or no starch in it. You can actually turn this out in 26 seconds. If that's taking the lid off and ripping the top up. Put it into um, a, a, a strainer like that one, over a bowl, and, and chuck it in the fridge. Now, it, 12 hours in the fridge, but you don't have to watch it. You just leave it. It's just doing its thing. 12 hours. When it comes out, it's like this. Look, see? Let's show, let's hold it there so our viewers can yeah. see it. So it's like quite solid. It almost feels a little bit like cream cheese. It, Is this different than a Greek yogurt than what you've sort of yes, just made well, there? Yes, the Greek yogurt one has gone part of the way. This has okay. gone all the way. So what you get when you strain the yogurt is you get whey that comes out of it. Whey is a muscle building thing. You can put that in soups and sauces and it, it, it's added protein. Like protein Don't yeah. throw it out, it's added protein. So then when you take this, and by the way, if you use this um, on toast with marmalade, you uh, would you like to mash oh, it? I, I just, you know, if you use it on toast with marmalade or on, on baked potato and its jacket and things of that nature, and just simply move the solid saturated fat things out of, out of the way, reduce it, not completely, what, and excuse me, what's I yeah. put this in? You can save 40,000 calories a year. That's from unbelievable. Fat, from fat, from fat, saturated fat. That's massive. And it, it's, it's like a silver bullet. It's just an amazing thing. What, so, and you've gone totally healthy. And, and we're gonna, shall we're gonna I tell you what I did yeah. there? This is a hot chili. Okay. This is a branch of dill. And this is star anise. And if you put that together, you have got a Pacific Northwest seasoning and thing. And I, I put it out in my, under my own name, but it's in the book. Excellent. And it has the most amazing flavor. It perks things up, and it has this wonderful anise flavor, too. I'm going to load this so up look, here. So look at you. You I, actually could have a career in this. There's only a hundred... There's only 175 people well, doing regular food programs. If I can have the career you've had, 51 years in television, your yes. 29th book out, and also at the Eat of Vancouver Festival this weekend, I would say I would have a pretty darn good life. I know we didn't put all the stuff in here. No, but no, 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 you did, because that was this. All right, so there we go. And just can I dip? Yeah, go on. Oh, all right. You've chosen a pretty large one. You, I always have do. Have you stopped speaking? <laughs> Now, let me tell you about our host <laughs> today. <laughs> We're going to take a break. Thank you so much. Oh, a, what, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, it's delicious. Yes. No question. I yeah. just can't wait. And, and lightens up the avocado. Too. We've got a giveaway as well. Uh, tickets to Eat Vancouver as well as this fabulous Mott's Clamato Caesar Pack. Everything you need for, I love a Caesar. Do you like a good Caesar? Absolutely. All right. Information yes. on your screen. Contest at vtvancouver.ca. The subject on your screen She's as well. Finished. Thank you so She's much. Finished. Can you show me a gallop as we go to break? What's this? Just no. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Can you tell me if at least I'm you doing it right? You gallop. There's some things I'm not prepared to do anymore, but I will make a velvet omelet. Bye bye. The best now. in the world. <laughs> bye. Take a break.